What up? It's your boy! Yo, boy! But for real, though. Um, so the Lions going against the Philadelphia Eagles, a.k.a. the Philadelphia Pigeons. Um, yeah, they beat us last year, 44-6, 38-point blowout. That was an embarrassment. One of the worst games I had ever watched as a Lion fan. One of the worst games I... Matter of fact, no, it was the worst game. This was the worst game I went to as a Lions fan. <laughs> Actually going to the game. The second one was the Seahawks game a couple years before that. <laughs> but this game was worse than the Seahawks game. So at least in the Seahawks game, we were somewhat competitive. We scored we scored a touchdown. We scored a couple of touchdowns. I mean, hey. But this game was terrible. Bad matchup. All that. But the key to winning this game is going to be the key from last year. Stop the run. What you need to do is stop Jalen Hurts from running the ball. You need to have him contain, make him throw the ball, make him beat you with his arm. That's an obvious answer. And second, make sure you be able to run the football, even though I don't think we're going to be able to as effectively like last season. But I don't know, man. I, this game is weird, man. Our offensive line got to out toughen the Eagles' defensive line. That's how we gonna beat them. The only difference, there is one key contributor difference between this game and last year's game. We got Frank Ragnall back. Ragnall is the difference. I think Frank Ragnall is the key to this game. Yeah, he the center and all that. Yeah, he not the running back, the skill position player, but Frank Ragnall. The key contributors to this game is gonna be Frank Ragnall. Jonah Jackson, um, on the offensive side, is going to be our receivers, in particular, DJ Chark. If DJ Chark have a big game on Sunday, we're going to win. If you have a, a solid game, we're going to have, we, if we have at least 80 yards receiving, we can have, we have a really good chance of winning. You know, so, yeah, man, we got to have him get involved. Frank right now, Jonah Jackson is going to be the main three players. Is going to be the key contributors to this game. I know Swift going to be a contributor for being a run of the back, Swift and on uh, Williams. But the real contributors are Frank right now, Jonah Jackson, because Big V he hurt right now. Big V, uh, Vita, he out right now. So, like I said, the big contributors is going to be right now. And this offensive line can never stay healthy together. They never can play a game together. Never. But um, them guys, and I'll cut Vita, by the way. He ain't trash. He is trash. He is a little trash. But anyway, but um, <laughs> they're going to be the key contributors to this game. Defensively, I don't know how in the hell we're going to stop the Eagles running offense. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do. Our linebackers are horrible. Um, Michael Rodriguez, I want to see him ball out in his NFL debut. I want to see Hawkinson. I mean, not Hawkinson. I want, oh, yeah, Hawkinson going to be a key contributor in the game, too. But I would say Hutchinson, I mean. Sometimes you can't get them mixed up a little bit. <laughs> you can. You can't get the names mixed up. Aiden Hutchinson having his NFL debut Sunday. I want to see him go crazy. When Jalen Hurts want to run out, he want to run out and scramble and all that bullshit. I'll smack the fire. <laughs> you know what? Forget it. I will smack the fuck out of his ass. Let him come out. Let my, oh, you want to run? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Bow! <laughs> End this shit. Like, <laughs> you want to come out and run, keep running and all that? Okay. Bam! Every time. Every time you try to run out. Make him try to make him scared. Like, keep him in the pocket. If you can't keep it in the pocket, it's going to be a long day. However, if you make him, you know, throw off balance, he ain't going to do good either. Like, just make him beat you with his arm. I think McNeil going to be a big factor in this game, too. He a key contributor to this game. Aline McNeil, Michael Brockers, even though he, he fucking sucked ass last year in my eyes. In my eyes, he was trash. But... Don't two going to be the main key contributors in this game because we don't have Levi Onzerike with his broken back ass. He want to sit up here and get broken backs and shit as a young player 
Man, you might as well cut ties with his ass right fucking now. You already got back problems in you in year two. And he had back problems in his rookie season. Cut ties with his ass now. Cut ties with him now. I'll cut his ass. I'll cut his ass. I know it sounds fucked up, but I'll cut his ass. You got back problems, bro. You ain't say he had a little ankle injury. Oh, he got a twist. He, he messed up his wrist or something like that. No, you said a back injury. Cut ties now. Josh Pascal, cut ties with him now. I ain't want. I don't know why the fuck we dropped him. We could have got Malik Willis, which I don't understand this shit. We could have got Desmond Ritter, which I did not understand this shit. But you want to sit up here and get a motherfucking defensive tackle that ain't even healthy. Came back from from cancer, bro. Cancer. And I'm glad he beat it. But come on, bro. Seriously. Seriously. You don't get a guy that was already in. Fuck the cancer shit. He was already an injury prone motherfucker in college. This team do stupid fucking. Don't even. This team do stupid shit every fucking season. That's why we never win. But like I said, Liam and Neil gonna be the key factor to this game. Him and Brockers. Even though it's ass cheeks last year. And Anzalone. If they don't ball out, it's going to be a problem. Now, nah, it's going to be also a problem with our corners. I'm scared. I think the Eagles might cough us up. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about that because I don't trust Jess, o Jess, Jess Okuda. Jeffrey Okuda. I don't trust him. Yeah, he won the quarterback uh, spot by default because he's the number three overall fucking pick and getting paid all that fucking money. Let's be real. He ain't that good. He ain't that great. Now, I hope he proved me wrong this season, but... He, he was fucking trash, man. He ain't winning against nobody in the preseason. I, I'm not impressed. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. I don't care. Oh, he made a play against the coach. One, one deflected ball. You need to show me this season. Fuck the bullshit. Prove to me. And I will praise the fuck out of Jeff Okuda. I promise you. I promise you. When he do good, I will tell you. But when he play like shit, I'm going to tell you as well. Um... Will Harris, he shouldn't even be on the NFL roster. He's horrible. Um, he's one of the worst motherfucking defensive backs I've ever seen in my goddamn life. I don't care. Corner, safety. I don't care if he plays uh, nickel corner, outside corner, safe, free safety, strong safety, linebacker, whatever. He garbage. Get his ass off my team. I don't even know, man. I don't know what direction this defense is going, bro. I don't know. I don't know. Shit. But with all that, and, and Dan Campbell not calling some bullshit in this game will be the key. If Dan Campbell calls some bullshit or our team calls some bullshit, we lose in this game. I promise you. That goes for Aaron Glenn, too. You call that bullshit that you called last year? Done. Game over. But, man, that's all I got to say about that. Who I'm picking to win this game? <sighs> I want to say the Lions so bad, but I got to pick the Eagles. And I don't want <laughs> – but I could be wrong. The Lions – no, nah, I think the Lions going to win because I think they they actually pissed off about getting their ass kicked last year about this against this team. So, um, well, that don't always mean everything, but – Shit, I can see the Eagles blowing us the fuck out again. Who the fuck knows? But, um, yeah, I got the Lions winning by a field goal. The game uh, point spread, I think it was four points, I believe. So, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. But that crowd is going to be a factor. And those, those slappy Kool-Aid drinkers, they there. They there. But, yeah, that's all I got to say about this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'm gone. Peace.